As the market situation changes dynamically, when an advertising campaign is carried out, it is necessary to make a direct analysis of the contextual ads, their results and their competitors. In this article, you will find the most common mistakes in contextual advertising and get practical recommendations. For effective advertising, Ina Yatsuna guides you through the most common mistakes in contextual advertising and gives you practical recommendations for establishing effective PPC ads before the market launch, an analysis of the target audience, the strengths and weaknesses of the product, the activities of competitors and the occupation of the niches is carried out. A search ad campaign is different from a campaign displayed on the Google Display Network. In the case of search terms with a high and medium search volume, your campaign should be structured according to the principle one search term one advertisement. How do you sell the product? How is it produced? How does it differ from your competitors? What are your objections to buyers? What are your strengths and weaknesses? You need to know the answers to all these questions, because it will be very difficult to sell a product or service without them. The mobile search campaign should be a separate campaign with different keywords and parameters. To evaluate your contextual advertising, you need to use two tools a site analysis system in Google Analytics or Google Ads. For example, you can create the following groups of your PPC campaign company brand. General keywords, regions, product types, promotions, competitors, etc. By dividing the campaign, you can determine which industries or regions are most effective, which part of the campaign should receive the most attention and budget. Working with contextual advertising involves ongoing analysis. To help an advertiser, there are a number of tools available to monitor the market and create or optimize a PPC campaign. Coronation virus and related quarantine measures have led to an increase in online sales. The amount of video content consumed and the time people typically spend online 